is how we do transaction on customer uh, and because here you have the list of customers you can see them there you have the list of customers you need to click change view here you need to click change view there and you click uh, customer process once you click customer process we need to have a new quotation we have the new sales order we have allocate is to about um, uh, arrange them in their orders and you have dispatch which is means delivery you have the post invoice it means to update the ranger because you have at least you could record the amount you expect from customers on the other side you record the reduce of items uh, because you have sold them and you have delivered them you have to check the debt for those people who have debt with you, you have debt with uh, you have to make sure that uh, you look at them so that you can know who is supposed to pay at this time and how much and we have about the receiving payments as you can see we have the receiving payments there let's start with the quotation uh, in this quotation you can see we have about the account account code this account code you can just use like for example say British Kenya you click OK uh, we have the date here you can just adjust the date there once you adjust the date then you come to the product code product code just put the, the product that person requires that is a uh, J, JCV TV for example and you click OK we have the quantity whereby you can just come here you adjust the quantity to be two product for example each cost 5500 uh, at that is the amount that you can see now the net is 11,000 because of uh, the product are two of them and you have the VAT of 16% which is now 17.07.20 uh, cents in this case you can see we have even the gross and everything and now you can click you can choose another item here now uh, the bottom line click the another product here and just choose for example to our bum in this case you click okay bear in mind about the 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 quotation it means quotation is not a final uh, pricing sale it's something that you can negotiate unlike a sales order that means you can deliver because there is a price you agreed on either different between the sales order and the quotation in this case just click save and once you click save you can just click uh, you can just click close now once you click close, you can just come to the uh, new sales order. This new sales order you can see here. You can choose another different version. For example, double Mareki uh, Marek Limited. You can just click there and click OK. Once you click OK, then you come here, you choose the product. For example, Aritek, go DV, decoder, and you put down the, the items. You want three items, each 800. So once you click there, you see the amount will be multiplied by 3 because of the quantity and the VAT. We have this. You can choose now another product. Uh, that person requires, for example, a mention purchase. Click OK and choose now the quantity that person requires. For example, if you need uh, 120 pieces, just put 100 and, uh, or 200 pieces. Which is now 700. And now we have the we have this uh, other product you can just keep selecting the product we have a variety of them for example one service click ok in this case you can see we have the quantity you can just adjust for example two and now click there which is now each 15 shillings it means that hope and this one doesn't have vat so it is um zero related that is why they can see the VAT is zero. In this case, uh, you can click save, and it tell you that the cash limit will exceed, will be exceeded as you wanted it. So it means, as per the agreement of that customer, it means sometimes you can see there is a amount that have exceeded. It means you'll be an overdue customer. In this case, you can either choose to to reduce the um, the product uh, as for this one let me try to reduce for example uh, i can reduce 
this one is 14,000. Let me reduce this one to be, for example, 50 more. And this one now will be, that amount will be reduced to 20,000. For example, if I put 1, you can see now it is 700. And now click save. Once you click save, you can see it's no now about the issue of uh, that exceeding error. And you can now come choose and choose another one. For example, you lease a company or you sell, sell, sell enterprises. Just click OK and you now choose the product that person want. Product, there are many. Just come and select as per the order. Click, for example, 4A. 4A. Uh, the product, for example, uh, that is six of them, which is now the, that amount. Maybe because there was maybe at some like discount, you have to discount that person. It means you just double click there and you get this uh, edit item line. In this case, this is where now you can come and give a discount. In this discount, just click there and put maybe, for example, three point. Uh, 5% in case we had a discount for that one and now you can click there and you can see now the amount is 84 shillings that is the V8 that is the discount you have given because you have bought more items more than five for example click OK you can see now the amount have reduced from the previous one just come and select different uh, different item Example, we have the RJ45 connectors. You click OK and now come and choose the one that you want. For example, if you need two of them or three of them, just come and click that one. And now to give you the product you want, you can keep adding the product as per the order. Uh, you can keep adding the product as per the order or plus the services. Uh, then you have you now the the services there and now you can put that one and uh, you can see now we have this amount for the total carriage and you have the VAT and now the total amount after VAT which is 921.47 plus 5841 it will give you 67 62.47 like the total amount for that one click is click save once you click save you can click now uh, close and now go to allocate once you click allocate it's about uh, those items you can see them there we have one quotation and two order let's see what will happen here you can select all of them like that and allocate them together you see this information, allocate all stock to selected orders, click yes. You see all of them have been allocated in full. Let's see what will happen with dispatch. You can click dispatch here. How to click dispatch? You see this information? Do you want to create an invoice detail, update stock, and do as per the day, dispatch the selected, print, uh, to print delivery note only click no in this case you can come here and click no uh, to print a delivery note in case you click yes you can just click yes and get this information you can click print later one thing you acknowledge you see this error not all could be dispatched or updated possible reasons orders are not uh, orders are complete, uh, orders are on hold or cancelled, non-stock has been allocated orders, orders is quote or perform. The fourth one might be the main reason as to why the product have not been dispatched all of them or they have not been delivered all of them. Reason, because you can see as for this one, it is a quotation. QTE means quotation, that's why it have not been delivered because that one it cannot be delivered as per the sales order. That is the difference you can see there. That's why it is left as allocated but not dispatched, not delivered because that is not a final 
price as for this one once you complete you can just click uh, you can just come here and click uh, close once you click on uh, close you can just come now to post invoice once you see this of them you can just highlight both of them like that and you click update click just come here and click update you get this information update arranger and just click ok to preview print or file for me i want to preview click ok you can see this update ranger as per the date and time you can see there now you can see such a kenya update ranger you can see the product there the product there for that ranger here places as you can see here uh, one thing you notice is that uh, we have this uh, let me try to zoom it a bit so that you can see those items and you can see now the gross prices you have the net and you have the tax uh, the product there and you have the get return so it means the owner of the company which is such in kenya will get the entire amount which is now the the you get the amount which is now eight thousand nine seventy one at the final amount uh, for the company plus tax which is now one thousand four hundred and two point five nine and the customer will pay the gross which is now ten thousand three seventy one seventy three point five nine that is the greater to for that amount for the customers but you have to pay the taxes that's why we have the tax man and that's the remaining amount will uh, be uh, the company will remain with this 8971 as you can see there that is what they do about the update ranger and that is how it works after that one you can just come here you click uh, about uh, print or export as for me I choose export you can just come and export your arranger and you save it where you want to save it once we are through you can just come and say okay and close then after that you can see it is already been posted now you can see the amount you expect to be paid and it is already posted after being posted you can now come and choose the date. You can see the date for this company, which is now, those are the, the amount there. And maybe you can start by this uh, bigger value. You can start, those are the main companies which you expect to pay you. Uh, this is their balances, as you can see here. So now you can go and know which company is gonna pay you first. It you have, you have the two main companies, which is now the the c4 and c1 let's work on those one let's close and now go to receive payments as you can see here receive payment click receive payment and try to work on those company start with the company number number one say okay and now you can see the amount uh, for this amount you don't require even to put it just click reference number you put the reference number there that's my reference number and now you click uh, pay in full as you can see the amount is zero once you click pay in full you see the amount you get 45 which is the opening balance click again you see now the amount which is being paid for that one the total amount you can see there and one thing you realize with the with this is the amount in the bank now you expect moment you click pay in full you will increase click save and now go to the second one there you can see the uh, the amount is 156 once you, we are pay, you are being paid with another customer you see the bank will keep increasing you can put the reference number now click pay in full anytime you click pay in full you expect the amount to increase as you can see is increasing and now click save and close that is how you work on this flowchart for the customer process in a sage account 2010 thank you and keep subscribing our tutorials downloads for such a such in kenya
for more likes and uh, views and comment we appreciate thank you